for inviting me to this event. Um, I'm here to talk about a uh, comic project I've been working for about four years. And uh, for people who know my work, um, it's usually to be like installation and sculpture. And writing a comic is sort of a new medium for me, even though I um, drew all my life. Uh, unfortunately, um, as you can see, it's, a, it's written in Japanese. Um, I, lo I upload a page every week on my website, and I share the link on my Facebook. There, I add my um, informal English translation for my English friends. Um, but eventually, you know, I hope it would be you know, to translate it in maybe English or French or make it into a book. But I don't know. That's something I'm aiming for, but I don't know when that happens. Um, the story is based on my everyday life with my child. Uh, in this talk, I, I'd like to cover why I started this project. And um, <clears throat> I think that there are many things happening in life, good and bad. To me, the worst experience of all so far is that I had a premature baby in 2010. Uh, about 20 years ago, I had a car accident and I basically trashed my parents' new car with no insurance to replace the car. And that was pretty bad too. But having a preemie is something I can't compare to anything. There was no undo button to start over for a full-term baby. Uh, my baby was born at 29 weeks. <clears throat> a full-term baby means 40 weeks. She stayed in the neonatal intensive care unit for six weeks. Uh, my husband and I had a rough start. This was a shocking world we never knew about. We asked, why is this happening to us? Why didn't we know anything about risks? Having a risk uh, having a kid means a risk, and you can't be lucky. You can be lucky or unlucky, and we were definitely unlucky ones at the beginning. It was very hard to imagine if she would survive, or if she did, any um, possible after effects were scary to think of. I <clears throat> I took two years off from work to stay at home with her. Uh, when you have a baby with you all the time, you're in a kind of bubble, usually peaceful if nothing goes wrong. You follow her routine, make sure she's comfortable, and each day goes by quite very you know, quickly, just doing everyday tasks. After spending so many days at the hospital at the start, for me, my goal was to avoid any hospital visit. At the end of each day, I would say to myself, oh great, she's still alive and we had no accident today. So the life has changed quite radically after I had baby and before I, before uh, no, I after I had baby and before I had baby, I was doing well until an accident happened when she was with me. Um, she fell from my back and she was crying really hard. So we brought her to the children's hospital. The doctor put a cast on her leg. This wasn't anything serious, but I think this accident hit me hard. And uh, the feeling of guilt that never left me from her birth came back. I felt that I was the worst mom because of me. She's only two and has a cast on her leg, and she was born premature. Also because of me. How bad is that? Um, <clears throat> I never had a chance to make a peace with myself about the fact that she was born premature. This is a common understanding that the mothers of premature babies suffer greatly from guilt. And of course, there are support groups and counseling services, and the mothers are suggested to see them. But in reality, there was no time. Um, personally, I, had, I was too preoccupied and exhausted by pumping breast milk every three hours, day and night, and I had to uh, commute to the hospital to deliver the milk. A simple phone call to make an appointment to see someone seemed a high hurdle and disrupt the routine. So, two years in a bubble quickly passed by, but the feeling of guilt never left. I decided to start this comic project a few months after this accident. I thought by sharing my story, I might be able to deal with my guilt or maybe cheer some mothers up with similar horror experiences. I was thinking the best way to tell the story. When I 
decided to draw some drawings and I drew her with a cast on. It didn't look too bad or it looked sort of funny and comedic and so I continued. And uh, <clears throat> so far writing in this comic form seems to help me put things in perspective. There's always a page space that limits how much to put in and throw out. It also helps me keep a record of my daughter and she actually loves reading about herself. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, kids love themselves, right? <laughs> um, I myself, I'm a second of three siblings, and meaning zero record of myself as a baby. I didn't grow up with this kind of information, but it's interesting to think what a mother can share with her kid. Thank you for listening.